there, today I'm going to be showing you how to cook a bell pepper and potato curry. So here's all my ingredients here and I'm going to talk you through what you're going to be needing to make this. I have two onions here that are chopped into small squares. I have a thumb sized piece of ginger that is grated. I have one chilli that's chopped into small pieces. I have some homegrown garlic fresh from my mum's garden. It smells absolutely wonderful. If you're going to be using it from the shop, you'll need about two to three cloves and just chop them up finely. I have one teaspoon of cumin seeds here. I have about, about one, and a, one and a quarter teaspoons of garam masala. This is fresh that my mum made at home. Oh, it smells wonderful. I have about one and a half teaspoons of um, turmeric here as well. I have two potatoes that we're going to be needing and one tomato that's chopped in, up into small squares. And these are four peppers, um, bell peppers. So just get whatever you can and just chop them into sort of bite-sized pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna be moving over to my cooker now. And um, just gonna heat up some oil. I like to use rapeseed oil as it's better for you and it has half the amount of cholesterol and saturated fat. Um, you could just pick this up from any supermarket. So I'm going to add about um, sort of about two, two teaspoons. Just going to let that heat through. So I'm going to add my oils heated through nicely. I'm just going to add my onions. There you go. And my ginger and chilli. Just chuck it all in. Because it will all cook through. And my garlic. I'm also just going to move over. I'm going to go and get my cumin seeds. And these go in as well. They're just sizzling away. So now I'm just going to let this brown through. So you could probably move away and chop up your potatoes while this is um, browning off. So my onions, they've been cooking for about sort of 10 minutes on a low to medium heat. So you're looking for a sort of, a sort of brownish colour like that. So now I'm going to add my garam masala, um, sorry, my garam masala, which is, that's about, about one teaspoon, about one and a half teaspoons of turmeric. And I've got some salt here. I'm going to add about one and a, one and a quarter to one and a half. I'm going to see how that goes. And I'm just going to let that cook through for about, about, about three minutes or so. We'll just let the sort of, um, let, let the spices let off the smell. Mm. So here's my mixture. I'm just going to add these tomatoes in. So I'm just going to let that kind of cook through for, for, for a couple of minutes now. I may need a little bit of water because it's starting to, to stick ever so slightly. So now I'm just going to add a splash of water and that's going to cook through really nicely. There we go. I'm going to lower the heat now and um, just let that cook through for, for about, about, about two, three minutes. So now, now that's cooked through, I'm going to add my potatoes. These are Two, two potatoes are chopped up into small squares. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix that through and I'm going to let, let these cook through for about, about sort of 10 minutes before I add my peppers and I'm going to reduce the heat and cover my saucepan. So my, my um, uh, potatoes have been cooking for about, about 10 minutes or so I'm now going to add my peppers, just a, a mixture of colourful bell peppers. I'm going to mix these through. 
then may let off um, a little bit of um, so I'm just going to mix these through in my potatoes and my onions and all my spices and I'm going to cover the saucepan shortly just check the heat I've got a medium heat so I'm just going to cover my saucepan now and let these cook through once the potatoes are done I'm going to turn it off so my bell pepper and potato curry it's been cooking for about sort of um, about half an hour so I'm just going to carefully just pop my my spoon through the potato it's breaking so it means it's cooked so I'm just going to turn off the heat and it, it's all ready just smell that oh smells wonderful that does all the flavors all the garam masala the garlic ginger onions smells absolutely gorgeous so here we have it my bell pepper and potato curry that smells absolutely gorgeous i'm just going to garnish with a small amount of coriander look i've managed to get that just in one big clump um, but you just give it a little mix and um, it'll be fine that coriander smells gorgeous so my curry has about 300 curry 300 calories in it per portion and about four grams of fat you can eat this with a naan bread chapati rice or even yogurt so there we go very healthy low fat curry